So coming back to London and it being a hybrid event is so incredibly important for us. We wanted to create something that was not just a series of Zoom meetings, that it was actually really engaging for the audience. It's a, it's a massive change, but it's a really, really, really good change to be able to share this with everybody. And I'm going to formally open London Calling 2022. Welcome, everybody. I'm very happy to be here in the city of London. It's great to finally meet persons in real life again, not just from your computer screen. It's great to see the ambience here. I saw some great talks already. It's really great to be back here at London Calling and meet all the scientists that are doing amazing stuff. One of the great things about Oxford Nanopore is that they're innovators, uh, constantly innovating, constantly updating, constantly releasing new products. We've been hearing a lot of great things about methylation and using it with nanopore sequencing. We're very excited that we're probably heading towards using only nanopore sequencing because the longer reads are getting more complete, they're more accurate reads. I think we are living in such exciting times and that we really have the technology now to see and understand so, so much more than what we have before. I think nanopore sequencing plays such an important part for that because we can bring it to anyone. We can include communities, local researchers to use it. This will really bring us forward and allow us to you know, push the boundaries of what we are currently able to do with science. So the multimodality of all the things that you can do with the nanopore sequencing makes it a really useful tool in cancer research. And this is where Oxford Nanopore Technologies transcriptome sequencing has been a complete game changer because now we're able to look at a whole transcript with just a single read. We've now exclusively moved to using Oxford Nanopore because we get much cleaner and more abundant data. We think we've got now a significant proof of concept that we can generate unique reproducible profiles of more than one amino acid in a plain background. That's the target of this. We don't need to make a special box. We don't need to make special accessory equipment. That's what we're driving towards. We're trying to make it lab-free. We're trying to do it on cheap devices that we already make.